and welcome to the WIHS Journal, Public Affairs from 104.9. I'm Paul Kretschmer. On today and tomorrow's broadcast, you'll be introduced to a baker who's turned her hobby into a business. Here is my guest, once again, Jessica Hall, for today's WIHS Journal broadcast. Okay, I have Jessica Hall in the studio today. Her face was on the page of the Middletown Press recently, right on the front page. Did, did, you, did you anticipate that, or did that catch you by surprise after Cassandra Day came by to interview you? Oh, she was so kind. Uh, she did let me know that the uh, that I would be making the front page, um, and she asked if there was a picture that I would like to send her, um, or they could come and take my picture. So I immediately called my mom at work, and I said, you need to come over right now and take my picture while the light is good in the kitchen. <laughs> so, um, so I sent her... Uh, one that went on the website and then um, one that went on the, the front page of the paper was from my mom's house in 2019, the, the before times um, at Thanksgiving. So it was nice to have a, a recent picture and then a, an older one, too. Now, you've got a business underway at the current time. I do, yes. So, so is 2019 the before that all happened or somewhere along the way? So 2019 was sort of uh, in the middle and I, I call it the, the before times because it was right before COVID happened and, and the whole world kind of went into chaos. Um, but 2019, I had, um, I had been baking and cake decorating and doing all that stuff for family and friends for, for a few years. Um, I never really set out to be a cake decorator. Um, I actually, I don't know if she's listening tonight, but uh, a friend I used to work with, uh, her name is Jan Gauthier. She is a wonderful cake decorator. She can do with buttercream that um, you would just be amazed. And uh, she was very kind and, and really mentored me in the initial stages of people saying, you know, Jessica, can you make this cake? Um, and uh, I sort of learned to do it because I had to. Um, and as time went on, um, people would ask for more complicated things. And um, I sort of learned as I went. Mm. Um, and then when COVID happened, I kind of stopped everything like most people did. And I said, you know, when things get a little better, we'll see about bringing things back. And over the summer, people would say, oh, you know, we, we got engaged. Can you just make us some engagement cupcakes? And okay, sure. So as time went on, COVID really in one positive thing that came out of it um, was that I got to develop my own style, what I really wanted my cakes to look like. I knew that I, frankly, I wasn't very good at doing characters and, and Batman and comic books and mascots and, um, and there's copyright issues with that too. Sure. So um, I really got to develop what I wanted to do and uh, what I wanted my cakes to say about me and, and, and the client really. So um, yeah, so, uh, after after a couple of years, I was like, I think this might be the real thing. And, and now here I am. I have my LLC and everything. <laughs> now, was baking something that you always enjoyed doing? Was that something that was Jessica? It really was. And um, when I was little, there's actually there's a picture on my website of me. Uh, I think I'm probably six or seven ish. And uh, it's in my mom's kitchen. My grandmother was really, really great about letting me throw anything that I wanted into a bowl and then saying, oh, it's gourmet. And thankfully, I have improved a bit since then. <laughs> uh, but my family was very encouraging. Um, we had a really wonderful uh, neighbors, the Fazino family, who um, uh, sent cookies all the time. So we started, started getting into the trade of that. Um, and as I grew up, it, it never went away. It was just always a thing that I did. I would bring it in for my classmates. I, um, if I had friends over, I'd throw cookies together, just something. Um, and when I was in college, I said to my advisor at the time, I'm like, I think I, I kind of want to do this. And he looked at me like, are you insane? You just, <laughs> you just invested how much in a Latin degree and you're going to Tufts on a scholarship? And wh what, why would you want to do this? And I was like, yeah, OK, you know, I get it. Uh, but it, again, it, it never went away. Um, so as the years went by, um, I started, uh, I became a teacher for a while and I loved it with all my heart. Um, I lo loved my students. I still love my students. They're still my kids. Um, but baking was always there for me. It was my creative outlet. It was the way that I could express myself. And I made people really, really happy when I did it. So it was, I feel like it was always the sort of thing where, where the Lord said to me, this is your talent. 
and you have a great love for it, but it's not quite the right time. And then finally, I sat down at my desk in in uh, the fall of fall of 2020, and I said, "Jesus, you really you have to point me in the direction because now, like now, I need the guidance." Um, and I got neon glowing one thing after another. This is the time. Um, so it was definitely there was a bigger hand in it for me. So th- among the circle of people you know then, that w- were you always, it sounds like you were the, always the go-to person for things like that. Absolutely. Um, my family is, uh, they're, they're all really wonderful. My aunt in particular is a fabulous baker. Um, some of her recipes she has very kindly given so that I can use them, her pumpkin cake, her apple cake, things like that. Um, but As time went on, um, and she kind of felt like, I really don't feel like doing all this baking for holidays and all that, so it became me. Um, And I really, I enjoy that. I like being that go-to person. Yeah. Uh, As far as the actual operation is concerned, are you doing it out of a home-type kitchen, or have you expanded your horizons a little bit to more what some people might consider professional business setting for something like that? Sure. So right now I work out of my kitchen. I am a licensed cottage uh, industry in okay. Middletown. Um, I uh, I typically do my pickups at Xavier High School because I live just behind the school and it's a lot easier to uh, get on and off Randolph Road there. Um, I have thought, every, I feel like every week I'm like, yes, I really want to go commercial and I want a storefront. And then the other part of me says, you know, I love the... Um, I love the quiet and I love that I'm working, being creative in my own space. So much like, uh, you know, I'm waiting for the neon sign that says, okay, now you're ready. Now, now is the time that you can go further. But um, I get a lot done in my little kitchen. Mm -hmm. So um, I once did a thousand cupcakes in one weekend. Um, Yeah, that was a, (laughs) that that was a epic, epic feat. Uh, I'm very proud of that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it seems sometimes that, that people start with something that they're really into, they really love. And then when they go into the business aspect of it, that portion of the thing becomes the consuming thing. And you get what you started with actually gets left behind in the pursuit of something else that needs its own level of care and feeding. It, you're absolutely right about that. And I have a lot of people say to me, when I tell them, you know, I'm a baker, I'm a cake decorator, yes, that's my actual job. Um, They're like, oh, you must love it. You must have so much fun. You get to bake cake all day. And yes, there is a degree of of truth to that. I am extremely fortunate that I get to bake cake. Um, But it's not necessarily I bake cake all day. And uh, to do it consistently over and over and over, um, particularly, I. Again, I'm very lucky that I have a, a lot of creative freedom, but it's to someone else's expectation. Mm. Um, so it's not quite the same as, you know, you have your family over and you're baking cookies for holidays. And, and that's a wonderful thing. And I'm so happy when people tell me that they like to bake too. Um, but doing it for business is a little bit different. And particularly now that I have to report to the state of Connecticut, I have to pay sales tax, I have to do all of those kinds of things. Um, There is a difference to the business side and the creative side. And I am just super, super fortunate that my husband is also a business owner, so he can answer so many of my questions. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... um, but it, it, it's true. There is uh, there is a business side and a creative side. That concludes the first portion of my interview with Jessica Hall, recently highlighted on the front page of the Middletown Press. And I thought I'd like to speak with her too and find out how she takes something she loves to do and turns it into a business. For further information on today's broadcast, you can call us Monday through Friday between 9 and 5 at 860-346-1049. 860-346-1049 or drop an email to office at wihsradio.org that's office at wihsradio.org the opinions expressed on today's broadcast are those of the participants not necessarily those of the staff or management of this station i'm paul kretschmer on the wihs journal public affairs from 104.9 wihs <laughs>